Well, hi, everybody. I'm Mark Raven, a senior advisor with Kinexus. And today we are doing a quick preview of our upcoming webinar. Uh, it's going to be held October 17th, 1 o'clock Eastern Time, titled The Importance of Trust in Continuous Improvement. You can register now. Go to kinexus.com slash webinars, or you can look uh, for a link in the show notes. And we're joined today by uh, the presenter for this session, Colleen Sapelsa. She's a Lean and Six Sigma Transformation Leader with over 20 years of experience in various industries. Um, so Colleen, thank you for joining us here. How are you? Thank you, Mark, for having me on. And I just want to say this topic of uh, trust has been extremely important over my career, uh, starting out about a, a decade of experience at Toyota, and then transitioning into the aerospace and defense industry in 2011. And one of the things that I would say impacted me the most was my onboarding experience at Toyota. When the question was asked to our sensei, why is lean continuous improvement not more successful, or not more embraced mm -hmm. in Western organizations. And he wrote the character for cancer on the whiteboard and said it's pronounced gone and means, you know, obviously cancer. But the examples he gave were around internal competition mm -hmm. and other examples that were very ego based. So, so that really made an imprint upon me when I moved into the aerospace and defense uh, industry. And I saw so many examples of this gun, this dysfunctional behavior preventing us from continuously improving. Mm, yeah. That's, I mean, that's, that's powerful imagery. <laughs> Think of um, cancer in the organization, a lack of trust and, um, you know, Toyota people talk about mutual trust. It's not just leaders demanding that their employees trust them. It really it kind of, can you, what was your recollection of how that was talked about of like the need, mutual respect, up, down, peer to peer? Yeah, there were a lot of um, images used. I remember this uh, phrase that was used like, the falcon never sh shows its claws. It's this mm -hmm. idea of never demonstrating explicitly this power or influence you have. Like that, that humility was always really emphasized at Toyota as a strength mm -hmm. and your ability to, to unite people and um, elevate particularly uh the suppliers, you know, I was coming out of um, in a supply chain role. So uh, really elevating the customer that you're serving, be it internal or external. Mm -hmm. So I think, you know, we'll have a chance to hear a lot more from the presentation and, and the Q&A that we'll be able to do. But, you know, the one thing you touched on there and, you know, I've seen how this can be a struggle in different settings, including healthcare, like an organization trying to embrace or implement lean tools into a relatively low trust environment. And it's, it's not that people in healthcare are necessarily copying the direct tool, but you think of like the trust required to feel safe pulling the and on cord. Yes, absolutely. And trust, it's such a rich topic. And I think what's necessary is to develop a language around it. You know, what, you ask, what does trust mean to, you know, 10 different people, you'll get 10 different definitions. And mm -hmm. what I found is so helpful is if we can put it into a context, uh, putting it into the context of relationships, relationship to, you know, management or leadership, relationship to our other coworkers and the relationship of trust in our own jobs. So to see it in those those three different ways, I think that allows us the language to then get to a point of action, which is mm -hmm. ultimately where everyone wants to end up is, you know, how to, how to address this. Right. How to build trust, how to uh, course correct, or is, 
as um, you said in, in the description for the webinar, how to change the DNA yes. of the organization and how to do so from the middle. So I know we're going to hear the more complete story uh, in the webinar, again, October 17th, one o'clock Eastern. Yep. Um, but can you give us maybe you know one thought as a preview about, or at least giving us some hope that we can change the culture, that we can, that we can build trust? Oh, you absolutely can. It's in it's in the ability to tap into the, I would say, the entrepreneurial spirit within the middle and having them become the advocates, the true advocates of change. And that's where I really see a lot of uh, opportunity and hope. Mm. Well, thank Well, it's always good to get... Uh, more hope and to hear stories that help um, people feel that hope and, uh, you know, as well as, you know, it's kind of tactics and methods. And so I really yes. look forward to hearing the more complete story uh, in, in the webinar. Again, October 17th, you can register now, go to kinexus.com slash webinars, or you can look for a specific link uh, in the show notes, the importance of trust and continuous improvement presented by Colleen Sapelsa. So Colleen, thank you for collaborating on this. Thank you in advance. Yep for the webinar and thank you for doing the preview. Looking forward to it. Thanks, Mark.